First reading, a reading from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 24, verses 15 to 24. The word of the Lord came to me, mortal, with one blow, I am about to take away from you the delight of your eyes, yet you shall not mourn or weep, nor shall your tears run down, sigh, but not aloud. Make no mourning for the dead. Bind on your turban and put your sandals on your feet. Do not cover your upper lip or eat the bread of mourners. So I spoke to the people in the morning and at evening my wife died. And on the next morning I did as I was commanded. Then the people said to me, Will you not tell us what these things mean for us? that you are acting this way. Then I said to them, The word of the Lord came to me. Say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, I will profane my sanctuary, the pride of your power, the delight of your eyes, and your heart's desire, and your sons and your daughters, whom you left behind, shall fall by the sword. And you shall do as I have done. You shall not cover your upper lip or eat the bread of mourners. Your turbans shall be on your heads and your sandals on your feet. You shall not mourn or weep, but you shall pine away in your iniquities and groan to one another. Thus, Ezekiel shall be a sign to you. You shall do just as he has done. When this comes, then you shall know that I am the Lord God, the word of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we have faith in God, but do we show that faith in action? A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Once a man came to Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what good thing must I do to receive eternal life? Why do you ask me concerning what is good? Answered Jesus. There is only one who is good. Keep the commandments if you want to enter life. What commandments? He asked. Jesus answered, Do not commit murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not accuse anyone falsely. Respect your father and your mother and love your neighbor as you love yourself. I have obeyed all these commandments, the young man replied. What else do I need to do? Jesus said to him, If you want to be perfect, go and sell all you have and give the money to the poor, and you will have riches in heaven. Then come and follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sad because he was very rich. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in today's Gospel we see a pious, rich, young man. I call him pious because he was faithful to his religious duties. When he comes to Jesus and asks, what must I do to receive eternal life? Jesus says, follow the commandments. And he says, I have been doing this from my childhood. 
And then Jesus says, go and sell all you have and give the money to the poor. If you want to be perfect, if you want to have eternal life, then come and follow me. And the gospel says, the young man went away sad. What was wrong in this young man? My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, even in our lives, we do the same thing. We attend all the church services, we follow all the commandments, and we think we can go to heaven. And it's not enough to follow the commandments and expect God to accept us into heaven. Following God's word, following God's commandments is only a basic thing. We need to go beyond that. What is that beyond? We need to live our faith in our day-to-day -day lives. We need to show what we believe through our lives. And many of us will also be sad like that uh, young man because up to today we think spirituality is to pray every day individually, privately. We think spirituality is to fulfill all the religious activities. It is to go to mass that is not enough. Do we take care of one another? Do we live in peace in our families? And that is what is expected of a Christians. Faith is a life. It is not some uh, things to be accepted and just followed. It is to live a life of faith. That is why in today's responsorial psalm, we said, you forget the God who fathered you. God had kindness upon you. God saved you. God blessed you. And therefore, you need to show, imitate that God, that Father who is perfect then our lives will be full of joy and we will emanate Christ to the world. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, let us ask the Lord to give us the grace so that we may not blindly follow the commandments, blindly fulfill our religious duties, but actively show Jesus in our lives through the way we live. May the God of life bless you abundantly may god bless you